What's up, YouTube? This is a different video style video than I normally do. It's gonna be uh, EDC slash storytelling video, I guess. Well, I'll start with EDC. Let's see. Let me just unfold my little towel here because I'm gonna be working on this and uh, during the video while I'm talking, while I'm telling my story. EDC update. Well, I'm carrying this tomorrow. Uh, be, carry, be carrying that for defense on my strong side towards the back, clipped inside the pants. Wallet. Secondary. Well, my primary. If I need to cut something, I'm not gonna whip out this. I'm just take this little guy out. Victoria Knox Pioneer. Keys. Same old crap. Sunglasses. Stylus Pro. Stream my Stylus Pro. And a little Parker Jada. And of course, gum. Two packs of it, because I'm going to be out a while, and this pack's only got like six or five or six strips of it. And headphones. Uh, also, in my EDC mall, I'm going to just take the bag over here. Two bags up. I have that bag set up with. My tablet, which is charging right now, and a folder with crap I'm going to need. And my Maxidish, oops, I guess that part. My Maxidish in Versapack, Jumbo EDC Versapack, for, for a walk in, because I have to first walk somewhere. For a job interview, you have to walk about half a mile, or a mile, to Staples for a job interview. Then walk back to my house, swap bags, meet it depending on what time it is, relax or just head back straight to the subway station, which I'm going to take that bag and I have to go to my college to uh, just work on um, price registration and crap like that. I also have to throw in the blue notebook that I have to put in the bag. Anyway, story time. Oh, and I just am watching um, Frost Cutlery Channel. I want to get that set, $75, for, for, what is that, 100 knives or so, just so I can have that many knives, and use them for whatever I need, so let's say I need to throw a knife in my bag, I'll just go into my box, pull out one, and throw it in, actually I'll probably go check it out, color coding of that, yes I know, Force Color is a piece of crap, but, if you need, it's a good, they make good backup, backup leads if you need them, like, okay I'll throw one, I'll throw a couple in the car, I'll have one in each, I'll have one in my bags, I'll have a couple, I'll have one on my desk, one on my other desk, just all over, and if any of my friends, if any of my friends need a knife, somebody needs to borrow a knife, I'll give them that instead of giving them one of these, because 50 knives for $75, like, I care less about that crap, um, I care less about that little kitchen set there, but they had that, what, good 30 knives? Good 30 beat up knives for $75. I, I want to pass it up. They do a bunch of deals like that. So maybe. Alright. Anyway. Story time. Friends, I had my friends over today for the pool. Oh, wait. I don't need that. And I'll explain why I'm grabbing this crap in a minute. Yeah, this is enough. We were in. We were in the backyard playing basketball. My girlfriend was hanging out inside my mom, they were baking or some crap. And my sister decided to take my girlfriend and her best friend, go into the backyard, make a bunch of water balloons, and throw them at us as me and my friend are... as me and my friend, two friends are playing basketball. Us being guys, obviously, we retaliated. And not physically, we got squirts, squirt guns, my own water balloons and any anything else water related and started fighting back. I was using I was in my no, I wasn't bathing suit yet. So as I was as we were fighting I ran inside the house to change my bathing suit and I get and my the, the rest of my clothes all ruined with chlorine and all that other crap. So changed, came back out now, as we do, before I went change, as we were doing the water balloon fight, I, um, I thought it was, 
a good idea to try and knife the balloons. Obviously, I was careful making sure no his mommy I was being an idiot. So I was just holding them in, you know, the defenseless shit and just going like that when they came t towards me. Just to see if I could cut them. And it was working. It was pretty fun. And they purposely threw them at me so I just could do that. And I was using, not that, but I was using Tenacious. So I go in the change. I'm like, okay, I'm going to see if I could do it. I'm going to want to get some practice with this blade. So I go outside. I completely forgot I had it. Clipped in, my, clipped in the pocket. And I jumped in the pool. Fifteen minutes later. I remembered this was in my pocket. Thank God this is mainly rust resistant because as you see now it's all dried up and still functions fine. No. No problems at all. No rust. Well, that's why I have my WD-40 out. I'm going to make sure it's all nice and good. I'll just take... I like these new WD-40 cans with Dom little stream. Attachment, very handy. I'll just spray the lock down. Get the inside now. That's probably a lot of oil, but I'm just gonna let it sit here and air dry overnight. Make sure it really gets in there deep. So, well, I'm not gonna leave it on the blade. The blade's fine enough. Because it's got the Teflon coating on it, so it's not going to get rusted. I just want to do it just in case. Oh, I wear on this knife. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount. I so far used it to cut up this kind of carpeting. A lot of it, actually, to cover my deck. And it cut it up pretty well. Let's see if I can get it here. It needs a lot of tension because it just flexes around too much. But once you get it in... It'd be easier if I actually had tension, but yeah, you can see the point. It's it cut through it pretty easy. Like once you got it really, once you got it in there, nice tension went right through it. This is all. That's pretty much all it is. Uh, it's not even. It's like a clay, so it's pretty much bendable. You really got to have tension on both sides, and then you can cut cleanly through it. I like it, but it's like any other carpet. Alright, now it's, it's been W, it's been WD-40, I'll use my, let's use rags, I'm just, that could be a little more wet. I just ordered, uh, one, the, the bigger bottle, the one ounce or whatever it is. Because I really like that stuff. Polish, I don't use this for, I only use this for cleaning on the stainless steel. Like, if it's really dirty, I'll use WD-40, but if I just want to polish it up, like it's got fingerprints on it and stuff, I'll use the um, silicone oil. I like the way WD-40 just cleans it. This doesn't really clean. It's just polishes. You can see how it left a nice little shine on it now. Oh, crap. I've been talking for 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. So, yeah. I'm thinking about starting collecting knives, you know. Like, I've been really liking um, Texas toothpicks and um trappers because all i do at night i cut the thing on at four o'clock in the morning i just watch this crap because it's always on and they, some of these knives are even though they're crappy they're really cool looking collector's knives and i actually had one now not one not a trapper or anything like that but i have this thing this beautiful american eagle knife the lockback. It's really heavy. Obviously, not a used knife. It's a display knife. Has the case and everything. Actually, I should polish this. Well, I'll have it out. Polish the press too. Oh, I want to get a lot of fingerprints on this thing. Yeah, that's a shiny ass knife if you ask me. Look at that shine. Whole entire thing. Alright, it just sits in this little display case. There it goes. Alright, it just sits in this little display case. 
Although I have no way to display it right now, so it just sits in here, but... But it's at. I guess I inherited it from... I inherited it from my dad who gave it to me. He's not dead. I don't know why he's inherited. But... It got some scratches on it. I don't know how. But, yeah. Just a quick little box. That's about it. Um... Oh, look at that machete. They do sell some pretty cool knives. If they use better steel and it was just better handiwork, these would be a lot better. Right now, those all they sell the knives really. Except last night, they were selling a Kershaw Leak for fifty bucks. It's a little pricey for the Leak, but at least they sell some good knives. My cafe has never even heard of, and that could probably be why they're so freaking cheap. Alright, well, guys, thanks for watching. Peace and out.